Hello everyone, welcome to another live hangout here at Voice Essentials. I, I, I cannot tell you how nervous I am about today's show because, and, and this is, I am not exaggerating when I tell you that for the last two and a half weeks, I have had so many challenges with my computer, my the, the computer that essentially runs my entire business, including our live hangouts. Oh, and and at each point along the way, I've had I've thought I've solved it, and then I ha anyway. Long story short, I'm 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 hoping that this is is going to go well. I'm hoping that the audio is working well. I'm hoping that all of my USBs stay connected. If it falls over, I will do my best to resurrect it today um, because it, it will just be USBs. But that being said, it has been solid for 48 hours and I've, I, have, I have run countless hours of tests do you, uh, can I can I say to you this is how much this community <laughs> means to me is 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 the the sleepless nights that I've had over this issue. I've had my brother-in-law's been looking at the anyway. <laughs> I won't bore you any further. So far, it would appear that um, everything's going well. Yeah, Linda, don't cross your eyes. I need you to keep looking at the screen. <laughs> But everyone needs to have all of their fingers crossed, all of their toes crossed, everything needs to be crossed. And if you're given to prayer, <laughs> that wouldn't go astray either. Okay, let's get into today's show. Um, firstly, happy Mother's Day to those of you who are mums. Um, and uh, I know that for many of you who are watching live, because so many of you watch this show... <laughs> When, when it all goes smoothly. So many of you watch this show as a replay, um, but of course, uh, <clears throat> um, today, if you're watching live, um, it is Mother's Day in, still, for, for most people, in the Northern Hemisphere, it's Mother's Day. So, we're, it's Monday already. We, we've kind of, Mother's Day is behind us here in Australia. We had a lovely day. My, I took, uh, we, uh, my kids and I took Jody, my wife, out for for dinner, and it was it was good. We had a we had a good day. So um, if if you're a mum, happy Mother's Day. I hope you have had uh, a lovely day. And of course, it it's often also a time where we you know remember m um, mothers that we may no longer have contact with. Perhaps mums have passed away, or so I, I hope I hope the memories that you're having of your mum, if that's the case, um, are, are special. Okay. Let's get into the rest of today's show. Today is going to be a QA, and a as will be for the next, um, I think, two shows after today. I'm, I'm actually glad <laughs> because I need, it's going to take me weeks to feel confident that this machine is working properly again. Um, and uh, I'm not seeing any more comments from Linda to let me know that it is, it's, it's going bad. So fingers crossed, it's all going well, I hope. Um, uh, now, I want to tell you about uh, something that I'm involved with next, uh, next session. <clears throat> uh, sorry, next week. Next session. Uh, let, me, let me show you something. <clears throat> this is, let me bring this screen up here. So next week, no news is good news, I'm seeing in the chat from Linda. Yes, Linda, no news is good news. So next week, I am participating as a speaker, an invited speaker, with this um, called the Pandemic Proof Summer, a uh, Singer Summit. Um, now, uh, this is, I wanted to let you all know about this because this is a virtual event. So you join via Zoom. It is free to, to engage with. You don't have to, um, uh, you don't have to pay anything. You can, there is a all access backstage pass thing that you can um, purchase, um, which gives you, actually it's, 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 it gives you 
it's basically like a like a show bag, if you will, of massive specials. <laughs> For example, um, to let you know, here's a little secret. I I have offered all of my online singing courses, Voice Essentials one, two, and three. I am offering them to people who have the backstage pass at a hundred dollars off. So that's fifty percent. Um, so uh, it's $197, for example, for my online courses, uh, whether you get one, two, or three. Um, and so, yeah, in the backstage pass, there will be a, a code that you'll be able to use, and so you can get $100 off. So that's just an example. Now, there are so many amazing speakers that are going to be talking at this event. <clears throat> if I come all the way down, there's a link in the description section of this video um, and I know Mackenzie in the chat. I know Mackenzie ha uh, went to this last year. So Mackenzie, you can probably talk to this better than I can because I wasn't in the um, I wasn't a speaker last year. But there are so many good people. Look, Natalie Weiss, um, she has a, a YouTube channel called Breaking Down the Riffs. If any of you have seen it, it's it's amazing. Like she is amazing. Um, and uh, that's the caliber of people that are going to be talking, you know, um, at this event. Uh, and you can come down. So many, so many, you know, um, big names. Oh, look, there's a there's another person we might know. Um, and uh, if you come all the way down, Matt Ramsey, he's a singing teacher. John Henney's another well-respected singing teacher. Um, Carrie Cole. Look, there's just so many people. There's then there are names here that I don't know, but names. This lady here, Danielle, T Danielle Tucker, um, she's the organizer, she's putting it together. She's coming on to this show um, in a number of weeks' time, um, she's coming on. But I just wanted to let you know about, uh, about this. It's happening next week. You do need to um, enroll, and that way you get sent links and whatever to, for, for the, the Zoom. I am speaking, um, <coughs> for me, it's next Wednesday. I think it's 8 a.m. I want to say 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. It's I think it's 8. Anywho, um, I'm uh, very late for the Northern Hemisphere, or ish. Um, very early for me. Um, so anyway, that's what I'll be doing. Um, and uh, I'll be talking on vocal technique. Duh. Um, that's typically my passionate area of subject so we're going to be talking about my my talk is titled vocal technique who needs it and uh, if you've been watching this show for any length of time you will know that every singer needs technique but we're going to unpack that a little bit so i wanted to tell you about uh, about that because i think that's going to be an amazing event and as i said it's it's free um, i mean you get you get to access this stuff for free so many good speakers but of course we also do this show for free every monday at 1 p.m so um uh, i hope you uh yeah can can join us next week um for that okay um next week as i said we're going to be doing a q a and i think the week after that we'll be doing a q a uh we're going to do a q a today but before we do I do just want to let you all know, as people uh, uh, who are a part of our community, all of you know the wonderful job that Linda does and will continue to do, I hope, um, going forward. Uh, she will. Um, uh, Linda has been just such a, a dedicated, really, I mean, what we, we couldn't do this show without Linda. She, she is amazing. And she's, she's our community moderator. She moderates the live chat here. Um, uh, as a part of the live uh, live show, she also moderates over on the Facebook um, in the Facebook community um, group. And if you're not a part of that, why not? You should be. It's fantastic. Um, uh, but you know, I, I have been thinking for a little while. It would be a good thing to 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 share the load of moderation for Linda because it's it's a you know, and Linda, Linda does this out of the goodness of her heart. She really, really does. Um, and so what I've asked, I've approached someone I think we, we most of us know the name of, and because we've also had Kathy Snyder has been here on the show when we did a song review with Kathy. 
Kathy is also, if you go to the Voice Essentials website, you'll see it at different points, Kathy is in some of the reviews. And anywho, Kathy's a, been a long-term um, participant, but also supporter of the channel. So I reached out to Kathy uh, a couple of weeks ago and invited Kathy to be a, a moderator. And I was so humbled uh, that Kathy said yes. So Kathy, I know you're watching right now and I know, I know it's 10 past 11 in, in Canada, but um, uh, at night. Um, but uh, I want to say thank you on behalf of the community here at Voice Essentials. Thank you for stepping up and, uh, and taking on that, that role. Um, uh, because uh, both yourself and Linda keep, keep this community safe and help just to keep that oil, the cogs running smoothly. Um, those of you who have been watching the show for quite some time, you will know that we've had just little moments where we've had trolls jump into the chat and, or we've had inappropriate questions asked or you know, and, and the moderator in, in the past, it's been only Linda for the most part, and Karen. Karen from Singwise also is able to join us on occasion um, uh, as, a, as another moderator, but it's mostly been Linda, and, and Linda's so quick to, to, you know, moderate, and that's, I'm, you know, and I, so I give, give you know, full re uh, authority to both of these ladies who I trust, and, uh, to, to do that. So thank you gals, very much appreciated. And it's going to be really important because in about, I think it's about, again, I'm, I, I don't have the exact date on it. We've got a topic coming up, for example, we're going to be talking about um, uh, transgender voice uh, in a few weeks time. And this is a subject that stirs up a lot of um, fear, prejudice, bias, and and so when we get to doing that show, um, I am going to be asking us as a community, and I know both Linda and Kathy will be able to to really uh, assist us with this. We're going to be very careful in the comments and the questions that we ask because um, I can tell you I am a I um, I teach people um, who are transgender. I teach people who are going through the process process and the journey of transgender uh, or transgendering. Um, and so I'm getting a specialist on, someone who's researching the area, and they're going to be talking to us about th the subject of transgender voice. And so at that time, um, the role of our, um, of our uh, moderators is going to be very important. Oh, do you know, <laughs> I'm so excited that the show hasn't fallen over yet. <laughs> I can literally, you know, oh gee, I hope I'm not speaking too soon, but I can literally feel my, my anxiety just, <sighs> okay. I think, I think we should, I think we should get into, into doing some Q&A, which we will do straight after this. <coughs> okay, so <laughs> as you know, for those of you who have played this game before at home, uh, we, um, I'll, I'm going to answer your questions. Now, there is a function within uh, the, the live chat called the Super Chat, and what you can do is you can donate um, any number of dollars, it's up to you. Um, to a super chat, and if you do donate money to the channel um, via the super chat, and it, and that donation, then if you put a question with that um, super chat, I will give you priority. We'll we'll, we'll definitely answer your super chat. Um, uh, otherwise, we just go through the questions as they come into the chat. And and I do I do want to say I really appreciate those of you who do um, do the super chats because. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, the, the, the cost of, of <laughs> oh dear. Anywho, I, I appreciate you all. Uh, let's, let, this is a funny show. It's uh, because my brain, I can tell you, is, is just buzzing with, with 
anxiety and excitement and 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 checking every make every five seconds to double check that it's not fallen over and so far um linda has said it's all going well we're we're good we're good to go <laughs> oh, oh, i'm not a fatalist but I, I every time i say that i'm nervous that that's going to be the thing that trips it over okay 42 g buven buven i apologize if i can't pronounce i i'm almost certainly not pronouncing that correctly 42 g i've been suffering from acid reflux symptoms um, include hoarseness since a few months i've been on meds since last two weeks it seems to be recovering but i'm not back again on my actual voice can you help well firstly the thing about prescription medication when it comes to um uh, things like um your meds uh, sorry the reflux medication um it's my observation it really does take a good Look, I reckon it, it takes, um, oh, I'm just going to fix something here, everyone. Oh, oh. Um, no, I'm, I'll leave that till later. Don't touch anything, Daniel. You'll break it. Um, it really does take six weeks to three months on prescribed medication um, to really notice significant change in the voice, a voice that has been suffering from significant reflux. Just before I um, stepped on to do, to do today's show, um, by virtue of my level of anxiety and downright stress in the lead up to today's show, um, my reflux has been off the charts. Um, and I've shared this before. I, I tend to use a, a, a just a uh, an over-the-counter um, product called Gaviscon to to help treat my reflux. And and in fact, I took some. I took a. The, it's the liquid form of, of the of the product. And I took some immediately before coming on the show because I just knew I could feel my voice just locking up. So that kind of gives you an immediate assistance. That being said. Um, and that's very beneficial, but if you've been suffering from chronic reflux, reflux that has been happening over time, then it is, it is not unusual for your doctor to prescribe um, a, a reflux medication, a prescription, um, and that generally takes 10, 10 to 12 weeks to really show its results. You may, you may, everyone's different. You may, you may really notice the, 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 change earlier than that and it can sometimes take a little bit longer but it's generally somewhere between you know 10 to 12 weeks where you go yeah i'm this is this has really had an impact and and the thing to know about that is more often than not um those prescriptions often only come as four or f or six week often four week certainly here in australia they're often only delivered as four week um, uh, packets, and so it can be really beneficial to have the have to to have the repeat um, filled out by a doctor that empowers you to to do three rounds, three months. Um, so I hope I hope that helps. Um, Forty two G, always refer back to your your medical doctor. I am not a medical doctor. I am a an academic level doctor. Um, uh, a non-clinical singing voice specialist and so it is not for me to, do, to to say when or how much or whatever it's something you must be driven by by your doctor but that's the conversation that you can be having with them um, 42g goes on to say i've actually ignored this issue thinking that it'll resolve on its own <laughs> due to my exams i couldn't stay calm and said i needed need to study in such a way i thought the hoarseness is still continuing yeah, reflux, <coughs> reflux can resolve on its own. You know, perhaps it's come on by virtue of the fact that you've had some challenges, uh, stress. Um, there's a whole range of things that can bring, um, you know, reflux on. It's, uh, LPR, laryngeal, pharyngeal reflux in, in particular will affect singers. Uh, but, um, but 
you know, sometimes it doesn't resolve. Sometimes you do need that additional assistance from something like a medication. And I am not overly keen to see people on medication for the rest of their life, but sometimes we need seasons of medication and sometimes we do need, um, for a whole range of medical reasons, uh, we might need to be on you know, medication for our entire life. But anywho, talk to your medical practitioner. Kelly, 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 Kelly. Kelly is, my, is, is one of my wonderful private students from Canada. And, and I had to cancel her lesson last week. Kelly, I'm so sorry. It's this, it's this computer and, and um, I'm sorry we couldn't do our, our lesson. So far, it, it might be fixed. It might be. Kelly, thank you for the super chat. Um, Kelly's asked, where does a singer start with, oh, I do want to say, when I emailed Kelly to let her know I couldn't do her lesson, her, her simple response, Kelly, I did get the email, which I didn't, I didn't respond to simply because um, I was so embedded in trying to fix the computer at that point when your email came through. Anyway, Kelly's, Ke Kelly's immediate response, everyone, was, that's okay. I'll just do a singing practice. I loved it. It did give me a smile, so thank you. And thank you for the super chat. Kelly is asking, where does a singer start with getting permission to sing another artist's songs, such as a famous artist? Is there a type of lawyer or other person? <clears throat> Copyright. Um, such, such a challenging issue because different jurisdictions, different countries um, will have different interpretations of international copyright. And so I'm, uh, Kelly, we might, you and I might be able to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation about this um, uh, in our lesson. Um, uh, all, all I can say, because I'm, I, I said before I'm not a medical doctor, I am definitely not a lawyer. Um, and so I've got to be very careful here. The, the, there are copyright lawyers, and so you certainly can have conversations with them. And, and if you have the facility, I'm, I'm, when I say facility, I'm talking money. If you have the facility to, to do that, if you have the money and the time to do that, then I'd encourage you to have that conversation. Um, uh, they're often, um, copyright lawyers often, uh, you can find art, artist lawyers who are sort of, they do both. Um, here in Australia, we have a, a group called APRA, the Australian Performing Rights Association. In fact, I think now they're called One Music. Anywho, um, you, you will have a, a national group in your country. For you, Kelly, that would be Canada. For me, it's Australia. For others, it's elsewhere. Um, try to find out who is the governing body around um, distribution of royalties. And more often than not, just even on their website, there will be information about that. It is going to be different in every jurisdiction. And so I can't give you a specific answer to that. And even, even if you were in Australia, Kelly, I would struggle to give you a, a really clear, knowledgeable answer because when I recorded my album, which I toured back in 2008, I did have covers on there. <clears throat> But I, that's 13 years ago. I honestly can't remember. We, we, we jumped through a whole heap of hoops, but I can't, I can't remember what those, like, and those hoops have almost certainly changed. So, um, yeah, that would be my best advice, Kelly. Um, jumping over here to Joshua Spades has asked, hi, Dr. Dan, do you have any new exercises to prevent hoarseness from gym workout? Um, part of falsetto has become airy to the point no sound comes out. Seeing an E in Terry in August. Um, Joshua, um, it's interesting because as you possibly know, I do have a video on this very subject um, on the channel. Um, the, the Voice Ascent, Dr. Dan's Voice Essentials YouTube channel has over 500 videos. Uh, and one of them 
is, I think it's titled something along the lines of, is, is your gym workout ruining your voice or something like that? And I do talk about the challenge around attending the gym. Now, if you take the time to read some of the comments in the, in the video, um, you know, I think, I, think, I think some people were left with the impression that I was anti-gym. I am not anti-gym. I was there this morning at 5 a.m. myself um, doing gym work. Um, I, I mostly stick to aerobic activity, so treadmill, uh, uh, the, ellipt the elliptical rowing, um, in part because I don't have a lot of knowledge around weights. And I'm thinking of actually um, hiring a personal trainer and um, and helping getting them to help me like I would help a student singer um, having them help me around the area of um, of voice uh, sorry of voice of of gym workout part of my discussion with them should I choose to do that will be hey I am a singer and I need to be very careful in what kind of load and overtoning I would do of my shoulders and, and neck area. And then I'd also have to talk to him about the fact that I need to make sure I'm not creating too much grip and subglottal pressure directly below the vocal folds so that I'm avoiding valving, that is the, the three-way closure of the larynx, so as to create that lift. Now that can then lead to me not, you know, look, I'm, I, have no, I have no intentions of wanting to become buff anyway, but it is, you know, it, it may well lead to me not getting the full results. I mean, at my gym, there are some big, big, you know, men and women who are, they're buff. Um, <laughs> there's little, little Dr. Dan over on the tri treadmill. Um, so I'm not anti-gym. But we do have to be careful. There is no question, and there, the research shows this, there is no question that, that um, when done incorrectly, gym workout, look, it, it's not only the voice that you can do damage to. That being said, there is a great book, I'm looking over at it right now, called The Complete Vocal, Fit, Complete Vocal Fitness. Complete Vocal Fitness, that's the name of the book. That's a book I'd encourage you to, to buy and to read because in that book, that, um, that teacher goes into all of the, the author goes into a whole range of gym-based activities. There is a lot of sort of Pilates yoga-based stuff in there, which is terrific. And, uh, but anyway, you might want to check that out. The, it's called Complete Vocal Fitness. <coughs> If you see me, I'm looking over at my bookshelf. Okay, um, so Joshua, I hope that helps. Um, seeing your ENT, um, because the part of falsetto has become airy, it may well be that there's a, that it's hard to say whether the, your, it's been your gym that's, that's done the, the damage, um, or, or even if there is damage. Um, you know, not being able to access falsetto, or, or having your falsetto become airy, that can be for a whole range of reasons. But, but anyway, seeing the ENT is a good thing and, uh, and hopefully you'll get, get a little bit more insight into what's going on there. Uh, T.S. Puma, how do you fake cry while singing? Like the fake constriction, fake constriction that singers do. Oh, thanks. Um, I just saw your, your super chat there, um, Joshua. You're, you're more than welcome. That's that's why we're here. That's why we do this show every Monday, 1 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, <laughs> except when we have tech issues, which we do. That, you know, everyone, I've said this before, there is a reason why more people are not doing this, I tell you, and it's not because there aren't great singing teachers all over the planet. There are, there are awesome people all over the planet. Um, it's because the tech, oh, the tech, it's, it's, yeah. Moving on, Daniel. Okay, um, how do you fake cry while singing? 
Um, I'm, I'm not, I'm not too clear on that question, um, TS. Um, are you asking at it from an acting point of view? Like, why do I, you know, to fake cry? Or are you asking it from the point of, um, hmm, there's, a, I do have a, um, a video that you might want to go and check out. If you're asking about sob, which is a Joe S. Still term, um, I do have a video about that, and it is around the the, the term constriction, which is a, a, like the fake constriction that singers do. But in fact, sob is about retraction, um, so that you are alleviating constriction. So you might want to go and check that out. It's one of the more recent videos, as in the last 12 months, I think. Ashley Neal. T.S. Puma, I'm sorry I can't give you any more clarity on that. Uh, T.S. Uh, sorry, Ashley. How can... Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, no, that's my next student, which is <laughs> at 2 p.m. Uh, Ashley, how can... For a moment, I thought it was... <laughs> my heart skipped a beat because I thought it was... I thought there for a moment it was Linda me messaging me <laughs> to tell me that... <coughs> The shower would fall fallen over. Take a breath, Daniel. How can I, Ashley? Oh dear, you, you're all being so kind in sticking around today because I'm just a blithering mess. Ashley, how can I practice singing properly from my diaphragm? I have been singing for years and seem to strain my voice. Ashley, the very comment that you've made may be a part of your of the reason your voice is experiencing strain um the the fact and you you go on to say you're 20 year 22 you're a female um and you've been singing for most of your life but you've never sought out professional singing lessons i find uh, ashley that um untrained singers will they do untrained singers do run a very high risk of overdriving the voice in part because that's kind of what the voice wants to naturally do the voice wants to drive at the sound and when it and in doing so it loads up and that just you know it's it's a it's an ever revolving circle of mess um and and so my encouragement to you ashley would be actually to, to go and check out my online singing course um, because it will teach you how to unload the voice. We, we, it won't necessarily use that terminology, but we do talk about reduction of air pressure and, and we teach more even flow of air. And there are people all through this um, online chat that can attest to the benefits that they've experienced um, I'm just looking at them now. Kelly, Kathy, uh, Mackenzie, Linda, uh, of all people who have participated in the Voice Essentials um, online singing courses. And perhaps, actually, maybe you are already enrolled. I don't know. But um, you will get real benefit from that. And um, so that I'd encourage you to, to, to check that out. Um, because here's the thing. I'll just give you an insight. We don't sing from our diaphragm. Our diaphragm is a part of the breathing process and breath is absolutely a big part of singing. The fact that we need air to create sound, but it's our vocal folds oscillating together that creates the sound. And then as that sound, which actually comes out as this really raw rudimentary buzz, it doesn't come out anything like we hear when we ultimately hear the sound outside. We, it comes out as this eh, real buzzy sound and then as that that raw um, uh, acoustic sound travels through the vocal tract it gets shaped and formed and 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 delivered and and molded into what we hear so we sing from our larynx in one sense but but more importantly we and we talk about this in the in the online course. We sing from our entire our entire body is our instrument, not just the diaphragm. So that that's just a, a little insight into into the sort of stuff you would learn 
as a part of the online um, singing course. Larry Alexander, can you do something on rare voice types like counter tenor and contralto? I'm a counter tenor and most people don't cover this voice type and I want to know more about it. <clears throat> uh, Larry, I don't, I don't tend to get too caught up in specific voice types. We did at one stage, I had a, a, a bass voice specialist come on the show. Um, uh, uh, but, um, you know, as, as someone who may also be referred to as a counter tenor, though I don't use that term to, to, to nominate myself, um, the, um, the, uh, where am I going here? The, uh, the, this, this idea of counter tenor slash contralto, it, 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 voice types definitely have their place. If you're in a choir, if you're doing ensemble work, for example, barbershop quartets or, or what have you, um, ensemble work like, you know, voctave or pentatonics, um, or if you're in a musical and you want to participate as a, you're going for a specific lead that is, that is voice type um, specific or you want to be a part of the chorus. Um, but for the most part, contemporary voice, uh, the solo side of contemporary voice, we don't, I don't get too hung up in voice types to be, to be perfectly honest, not because um, it's wrong to talk about them, it's just simply, it's not my, the lion's share of, of what I do. Um, uh, and so when I talk voice types, I'm a little bit more general. So I generally only talk in six classifications, bass, baritone, tenor, baritone being the lion's share of the adult male um, population. Uh, it's a bit like a bell curve, if you will. Um, and then alto, mezzo, soprano, with mezzo being the lion's share of the female population. Um, but, you know, um, you can get, you can get really specific. The German um, voice classification system was called the Fach system, the F-A-C-H. We're always very careful in our use of that word, particularly here on YouTube. Um, and that particular system had something like, I think it's up to 27, 27 or so, it's, it's, a, it's in the late 20s, early 30s of, um, of voice classifications uh, to the point where you, you really in classical voice, and we're going, we're, we're talking about um, a school of thought that was founded uh, a couple of hundred years ago. Um, uh, and, it, you know, it got to the point where, and, it, and, and there's, there would be certain opera houses, etc., that would still do this, where if you are not that particular fach, then you, you are, you're not permitted to audition for that role. So, anywho, it's, I don't, you know, um, so that being said, Ashley, right back, oh no, sorry, Larry, um, you know, uh, if you are a counter tenor in one sense, then you, you're probably fortunate in, in the sense that I am almost certainly a similar voice type to you. And so when you hear me, it, um, I'm not going to tell you to model off me, but that will you know, make it perhaps a little bit easier to engage in some of my learning materials um, simply because we sit in a very similar space. Okay, um, Wicco Wicco, uh, is mixed balanced register range a thing? If yes, how can I increase it? Uh, mixed register is not a register. Mix um, register, um, and, I, and I've spoken about this many times, you can, you can go and check out um, in fact, I've got a new video coming out, a pre-record video coming out, Wicco, that where I talk about mastering your mix. But it's, and I've got other videos on this very subject, um, which you should go and check out. Um, but I'm very, very intentional in, in talking about mix is not a register, certainly not in the Thurman and Welch model of registration. Mix is simply the way we balance the, the musculature 
and work the acoustic to create a balanced tone. So when we're singing down here, this would be my chest voice. When we're singing up here, this would be my up in my head voice. That's not quite falsetto for me. That was still head um, or what in the Thurman and Welch is referred to as upper. So if I go, yeah, that's a shortener dominant upper register. Yeah, is a uh, lengthener dominant upper register. Yeah, is it's probably not the right note for me to be doing it on, but it's that it's somewhere in between, and that's the mix. That's where we balance the registration, um, and uh, yeah. So hopefully that's helpful. Let's do, just to let you all know, no more super chats accompanied with questions because I'm not going to get to them because we're going to finish up in a moment. Ah, so 29 Lackish Deep uh, Sing. So when I sing high notes, my soft palate engages automatically. What can I do? When, um, uh, that would suggest to me that you don't want it to engage. And when you talk about it engaging, I dare say you're referring to it shaping and lifting. Um, and so that veloport, that, that position behind the soft palate is being um, reduced, if not closed off. Um, it, you, what you could do is, um, I don't know. <laughs> Well, not off the top of my head. I'd have to give that some thought simply because I'm more often than not teaching singers to be able to activate their soft palate and keep keep the, the soft palate raised as opposed to not wanting it, you know, wanting it to sit lazy. And perhaps that's simply where it, where it would need to, to, to land. Technically, we'd have to think about that not having it sit really high. Um, yeah. And, and I think I'd play around with that. I'd explore that with you personally. Um, so it's probably not an easy question for me to, to, to answer straight off the cuff. Um, because I think I'd have to hear exactly what you're doing. <sighs> there you go. Well, before we finish, <laughs> before we finish, I wonder if you would all be so kind. Of, let, me, let me just remind you. I'm just jumping back over here. I hope you've enjoyed today's um, live live hangout, everyone. As I said, you can enrol in um, this pandemic proof pandemic proof singer summit. When you jump and check the the link, you can get to it via the link in the description section. You when you read up on it, you'll notice that it's most it, it mostly is referring to um, specifically. <coughs> excuse me, it specifically refers to like professional singers. Never be put off by that because there is so much that you can learn um, by attending pro level singing stuff. For example, here on the channel, I don't try to dumb things down just because you're an avocational singer. No, I want to give you the absolute top shelf knowledge to apply to whatever you decide to do with your voice. So don't be put off by the fact that it's angled at professional singers. Um, if you've got the time uh, next week, I really encourage you to enrol. You know, um, you get to listen to me every Monday, but I'd love you to, you know, attend my um, my hangout. But but also there are so many good people covering so many great subjects, um, and uh, I highly recommend going to Natalie Weiss. She will be amazing. Um, and uh, yeah, so there you go. Um, I really we made it <laughs> oh dear I, ho I hope I hope that this is simply the first of many non-tech problem shows that we have I'm sure it will be because the, literally my system hasn't skipped a beat it's been very good thank you computer for being good okay um, thank you, Linda. Thank you. Um, thank you, Kathy. Thank you. Um, oh, I see. 
Hi, I've just seen Karen. Hi, Karen from Singwise. Thank you, everyone else, for coming into the show. Thank you, ball boys, ball girls. Um, it has been fun hanging out with you. We're going to do it again next week. Um, as always, if you've enjoyed the show, give it a thumbs up. Um, and uh, yeah, now that we're about to finish, jump into the, the description section below this video and head over to um, the, the Singer Summit and, and go and check it out. Um, there you go. We. <laughs> oh, I, I'm going to sleep so well tonight. I hope to see you all again soon. I'm Dr. Dan. Sing well. <laughs>